What is going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the easiest defense to lock down your opponents in Madden 24. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below on anything you guys need on the channel, and hit that noti bell so you guys never miss a video. And if you guys are back for another one, you guys already know the vibes, man. Comment FTA stands for for the algorithm. It helps push these videos to more and more people. The more we engage, the more we grow. So let's get right into it, man. The easiest defense in Madden. And this is going to be a universal tip as well. You guys are going to be able to utilize this in a lot of different playbooks. But I do want to note that this is a mutt specific defense because of the ability setup that we're currently using. So the ability setup, let's, you know what, let's go over the ability setup first thing first, because we're going to be utilizing deep out zones and deep in zone KOs on our defense, which is going to help us out tremendously. Now, deep in zone there are players that get these abilities discounted and, I, and I, i'm gonna show those to you guys right now we got deep in zone and the players that get it are right on this list bo jackson antoine winfield julius peppers jesse bates and jack tatum i i have actually the two cheapest the three cheapest on my field with jesse bates peppers and antoine winfield and then for your deep out zone ko's this is the list isaiah pacheco and jack tatum i currently have mine at the three ap's because I'm a broke boy and I'm not spending that much that that many coins on on these players to go that crazy. But one thing that I would like to showcase is the uh, the Madden 24 ability tier list. These are the best abilities that people are using in Madden. And deep in zone and deep out zone are number 1 and number 2. So Make sure you guys are adding that to your field if you guys want to dominate as best as possible. So let's go over the setup for this defense. Now, I am currently coming out of nickel over, but you guys can get away with coming out in any any nickel, any, any formation that has two high safeties. Even if you guys are playing in a cover three, excuse me, not a cover three, a three, four defense or a four, three, as long as you have two high safeties that are in that formation. Now, right now I'm in a different playbook. I'm in the four, six book, so I'm not going to have that. But you can utilize this out of nickel over, nickel 3-3, big nickel over G, uh, dime, dollar, anything like that, you guys are going to be able to utilize this with. I like coming out in nickel over simply because there's a lineup, there's a adjustment that you guys can make that helps this defense out even more. So we're going to go ahead to coaching adjustments. Auto flip, set to off. Auto alignment, set to base. And then your zone drops, you want to change your flats and put this at either the 10 or the 15 mark. If they are hitting screens and the flats every single play, then you're going to want to utilize this and put this even lower if you want. But the reason why I have it to 10 is because if they're trying to do corner routes, you want them to delay that corner as much as possible. And putting it to 10 to 15 is going to help that. And then once they get past that 20 yard mark, those deep out zones are going to actually do a lot, a lot of damage, which is going to help you guys out. So that is how you set it up and the reason why we set our auto flip the defensive play call off is because whenever we set up our defense we're, we're going to want to set it up the same exact way almost every single time to make it as symmetrical as possible so we're going to come on a random play on the offensive side and the way that you're going to run this defense is just like this i'm shifting my linebackers to the right and that's why i have my auto flip off so that i know that i'm flipping my linebackers to the right every single time okay then you're going to show blitz. As you can see, it brings those safeties all the way down, almost to the line of scrimmage, almost in the box. And actually, you can actually make the adjustment of moving them manually and putting them in the box. And it'll help with run defense as well, which makes this one of the best defense. Then after that, you're going to take your, your, your shading, your coverage adjustments. And you're going to shade underneath. And then you're going to shade over the top. You shade over the top to turn those, those hard flats into cloud flats, which is going to help you guys out a lot as well. So... Then you take your user and you pretty much do whatever you want with him. I like to blitz him just so he, he has that extra little oomph to him, I guess. And then once that happens, your user has to be true. And as you can see, the pressure comes out from the outside. The pressure, you get sheds from the inside. Sometimes you get random gap sheds, ran, random outside, you know, insta, just screaming at the quarterback. And it makes your life 10 times easier. Now, a few things that, that some people might do that are kind of mistakes, but they're not, is pinching your D-line. Once you pinch your D-line, the sheds don't come in as good as they are when you don't. Uh, and that's going to make it a little bit frustrating for you. Now, I'm going to try to showcase it right here. As you can see, you see how fast we came in the last play? That right there, he would have been able to climb up in the pocket and he would have been able to make a play happen. And that's going to be frustrating for anybody that's playing the game. Now, 
a few extra things to add to this defense okay we're shifting blah 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 blah. we're doing this we're, we're, we're doing that if you're coming out and someone is in an empty set and you're scared that that your user is not going to be enough take one of these d linemen and add them to the mix of players that are going to be out in coverage it doesn't matter if you're manning them up on somebody well you can't man them up because he's in he's in a an empty set but whenever this happens make sure that you're putting someone else out in coverage to help you out because you, you i i get it we're all we're all the greatest madden players on earth uh we're getting cheated all day but at the at the same time your user is not going to be able to guard five different routes going out pretty much anywhere unless you're sitting there blitzing your job is to pretty much guard all this with your user so your user's got to be absolutely crazy it's got to be perfect um but at the same time you are going to be able to get a lot of stops in this defense simply because a lot of people get nervous seeing the, the safeties come down and then once they call their play they're trying to quick hit certain things but you're as long as your user is true you are going to dominate on the offensive side of the ball and as you can see everything is clamped up everything's clamped up nothing they can throw to except this r1 route and once they throw to r1 oh i was, about, I was just about to throw to r1 once they throw to r1 that deep out zone ko reacts and he's able to knock that ball out and pretty much easy it just life becomes easy very very easy now last thing that i'd like to know depending on the kind of formation there are two heavy formations in madden that are utilized over and over and over again and that is trips tight end and some variation of bunch now i'm currently this this is currently a bunch so i'm going to change this to verticals just so you guys can see how something like this is defended but one thing that i'd like to know especially when something like this happens you see how calvin johnson just kind of went you can actually do something like this and then put this guy in a vert hook so now all you have to do is worry and focus about the outside left if that guy goes over to that right side like he just did you can actually change your defense on that left side and kind of make it so that you have it, it sort of turns into like a cover six where you have your flat on the on the outside your uh like a hybrid zone kind of defense which is going to actually help you you guys out in the long run because you guys have all the coverage in, in in the world as you can see everything is bagged up nothing is open and we're there for another coverage sack and obviously obviously someone's going to try to make their read and we're just going to pretty much expect them to throw a bad read in this situation so another thing this is perfect i was just talking about bunch and uh bunch and trips so when you're facing formations like bunch and trips one thing that people are very inclined to do is throw straight towards the seam if this guy comes down or doesn't play back so they'll throw straight to that seam so if you're facing someone who's playing bunch or trips excuse me what you're going to want to do is take this guy here because they're already coming down you're going to want to move him towards that outside a little bit more okay this is going to help this is going to help you out a lot when they're trying to hit those seams and then your user has to pretty much focus on that guy first just, just in case he's not going out on his own seam your user has to focus on that guy immediately once they call a play or else it's going to be frustrating so boom and then you can come down and as you can see look everything bagged up i did not know the play i'm not calling any, any plays these are all random plays but again make your life a lot easier by running the easiest defense in the game and i will leave you guys off with this when you pinch your D-line, only do it if you think they are running. Because if they're running, then you're going to want your D-line pinched so that you can actually plug up any holes that are in the middle. Because we already have the personnel towards the outside. Okay? We have the personnel towards the outside already. And that's why if you need it, it only if you need to, if you think that they're running like, you know, inside zones and 01 traps type of, type of plays, that's when you pinch your D-line. And then once you pinch your D-line, then your user can kind of fill fill out any of the holes that could potentially be on on the field yes i did not know that it was a screen but my screen defense is impeccable this is the absolute easiest defense for you guys to run and i'm just gonna set it up right like literally just to showcase how fast it is to set up it's already done it's that easy so again the quicker that you can set up a defense the better that defense could potentially be so hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video and start utilizing your cover four defenses to, you, to the best of your abilities. My name is Pony Montana. I will see you guys in the next one, man. As always, two fingers, deuces. Peace out, you guys.